Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this tutorial, I will show how I created this giant CGI Spider-Man on building video in Blender easily. So accept GeoTracker add-on, rest and all assets are free to download. And by the way, if you did not get this GeoTracker add-on, simply download it. You can use it for 15 days for trial period and later you can purchase the add-on. So for practice purpose, you can download the add-on and use it for 15 days. So hope you guys will find the video useful. I will keep a target of 50 likes for this video. Please help me to achieve the target. Now without any further delay, let's start today's tutorial. So first of all, come to this browser and look for fspy.io. Later, download it here. You can download it for Mac, Windows or Linux. And also here you will get this Blender add-on. So simply click on that. It will be loaded in zip format. And this also, it will be loaded in zip format. Unzip it. Later, you will find this Aspy application there. You can click on the Aspy application and open the application. And I will be using this asset from Pexels. This is a footage. I will leave a link in the description. And I am using this Spider-Man character from Sketchfab. Again, which is free to download. Thanks for this artist for providing this model for free. And I will be using this HDRA from Polyheaven. And also, I will be using this Mixmo website to get animations onto the Spider-Man character. So first of all, once the Aspy application is loaded, open the application and here we will be using an image format. So here I got the footage. So here I will be using VLC player. So come to the starting frame, go to this video and click on this take snapshot. So we'll get a single snapshot of this frame. Now we need to load this snapshot onto the Aspy application. So here I got the snapshot. So simply select it and drag and drop it onto this Aspy application. So number of vanishing points, let it be two. So here, this second vanishing point, I will change this to Z axis. So this is X axis, which is in red color. And this is Z axis, which is in blue color. So first let's align this X axis. So simply drag this X axis here. Hold shift key to zoom in. So I'll place this here at the corner. Select it. And let's place this at this corner. Now again, Select this one here, I'll place this at the corner and I'll place this at the corner. So X axis set. So now let's place Z axis. So let's place this Z axis here. And okay, now let's select this one. Let's place it here at the corner. And also let's place this here at this corner. So now we got the axis set. So now come to this 3D guide option and enable XY grid floor and let's place this grid floor here and now go to this file option, save. So here I will be saving this as PyD and save. So now we can close SPY application and open Blender. So here we are in Blender and I am using 4.5.3 version. Nice. So first of all, let's clear this defaults in by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now we need to install this SPY add-on what we have downloaded now. So go to this edit preferences, come to this add on, click on this small arrow drop down arrow and click on this install from disk, locate the add on. So here I got the add on as by blender add on, select it and install from the disk. So it will be installed later, save those preferences. Now let's import that data as by data into blender. So go to this file option, import, select this as by. So here I got the file, select it and import FSpy project file. So now you can see we got camera. So if I come out of this way, you can see we got the camera here. So now we can come to this camera options, expand this background images, change this to movie clip since we are going to use footage and we need to load our footage from here, open. So here I got the footage, select it and open clip. So let's increase the opacity. So now let's add a cube here. So shift a mesh, select a cube here. So here we got the cubes. Let's reduce the scaling. Let's enable this extra vision. Let's reduce the scaling here. So I think here yeah, this much is fine. Let's place this cube at this position and let's move this aside. Okay. So that it matches with the footage perspective. And if you want, you can edit this one. So press tab key for edit mode. Let's select this one and this vertex. And let's adjust the vertex here. And let us select these vertices here and let's bring this aside. And also we can select this vertex. Sorry, this, this one and this vertex here. 
and let's expand this here and change this to face selection let's select this below face and let's expand in this direction right okay so let it be here like this we are going to place our character here right so that's fine let's disable this extra vision so make sure we have placed this cube exactly so change this to object mode and let's place it exactly onto the building top okay so now it is exactly placed onto this building corner nice so being selected this cube press n on the keyboard here we will get this geo tracker add-on so create new geo tracker so here we need to load our footage once again so open clip to so select the footage load clip so we got the footage loaded and geometry this cube will be selected by default and in camera we'll get the elspy data so now click on this analyze option so here it will ask for the frame so i leave it from 1 to 240 and hit ok so after that it will be analyzing our footage from 1 to 240 and again from 240 to 1 so here the analyzing is done so once the analyzing is done change this to camera option since we are going to track camera and click on this start pin mode so now click on this forward track option it will track the footage from starting to end frame you can see we are getting the keyframes added in the timeline so now our tracking process is done so now simply click on this back to 3d option so now if i play this we will have this cube following the movements of our footage so from this our tracking process is done and now we can place our 3d characters okay so now come to this you need to download this character right so cl simply click on this download 3d model you can download in obj format so let me show you so here i have downloaded in zip format unzip it so we'll get this source and textures so in source we will have another zip file so now we need to use mixamo to get animations onto the character so now come to this mixamo just create an adobe account and later you're good to go so first of all come to this upload character option simply click on this upload character here this will support fbx obj and zip format so here we'll be loading zip file so click on this select character file here we got that file right select it and open so it will take some time to upload our character so now we got our character facing towards us so now click on this next so now we need to place this markers accordingly so this is chin so let me place this at the chin here these are wrist portions so place this at the wrist and by the way if your not character is not symmetrical just simply click on this use symmetry uncheck this use symmetric later we can place the marker individually so since the character is symmetric i will be using this use symmetric option now elbows let's place this at the elbow of our character knees let's place this at the knee and groin let's place this here okay so once the markers are placed correctly click on this next option so it will take some time to set up the rig so now you can see we got rig on our character and we got the animation also so now click on the next option and next so our character will be loaded here now come to this animation options so here you can use any of the animation you like so i will be searching for six just because i want to place our character on the building right so from here i think i will be placing this so click on the animation and the animation will be loaded onto the character so here we got this animation right but the hands are going here so let's bring some character arm space here so yeah i think yeah this is fine so now here i got this character animation right so we need to download this character so simply click on this download option format let it be fbx so frames per second we need to match this according to our footage so footage is of 24 so i'll change this to 24 download it with skin and click on this download option so it will be downloaded in fbx format so now let's import that character into the scene so let's press n to close this tab so now go to this file option import we have downloaded in fbx format so select this fbx so here i got the file select it and import fbx so now here we got the character so press s and increase the scaling so you can see we are getting the character visible in the scene right so let's come out of this camera view so click on the period key to focus onto the character 
So our camera is here. So we need to place the character at this corner. So let's rotate this character. I think this is fine. And also let's place this onto the cube. And also let's bring it forward. Let's change this as per this local and yeah. So I think this is okay. So let's see through camera, press zero. So we got this character. Let's bring it front or else let's increase the scaling a bit and let's place this onto the cube here. Okay. So press zero to see through camera. Okay. So we got our Spidey character here and here if I play this animation, this animation is only of 170 frames later it will stay still. So let's loop this animation. So being select all the keyframes and by the way, if you have missed this keyframe, simply select this armature. We'll get the keyframes. Select all the keyframes here. Press Shift plus E, E for Eagle, and click on this Make Cyclic option. So we'll have this character animation looping throughout the timeline. Okay. So press zero to see the camera once again. So now we got our character onto this building. So now let's move on to this render viewport here. And by the way, let me save the project file, save. Okay, project is saved. So now let's move on to this render viewport. So here the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene. So now let's use HDRS to light up the scene. So come to this world properties, click on this yellow dot of the color, select this environment texture. So from here, we need to load our HDRA, which we have downloaded from Polyheaven. So open. So here I got the HDRA, select it and open image. So we got lighting in the scene. Now come to this render properties, enable ray tracing. Now scroll down, come to this film option and make it transparent. So I think we need to rotate the HDRA. So come to the shading options. So press zero to see through camera and let's change this to render viewport. So now come to this object options and change this to world. So now being selected this node here, press control T for node wrangler. And by the way, if you're not enable node wrangler, go to this edit. Preferences, come to this add ons and look for Node Wrangler. So, enable this Node Wrangler, save the preferences, now select this node and press Ctrl plus T, T for T shirt. Now, from here, we can rotate the HDRA. So, I'll rotate the HDRA along the Z axis. So, I think, yeah, you can see we are getting our character right. And also, we got some lighting in the scene. But I think this HDRA is not matching with the footage. So let's change another HDRA. So I will be using this HDRA. So let's load that HDRA. So again, come to this options and select the HDRA and open image. So now this is looking better and let's make this Z axis zero only. Okay. So that it is visible clear. Okay. Nice. So again, come to this layout once again, click on this layout tab. So now we got some lighting in the scene. So if I increase the intensity, you can see we, we are getting the shadow right? So I will make the strength like one only and let's hide this cube. So come to this render settings. So change this to cycles and enable GPU compute. Now come to this object properties, come to this visibility and enable this shadow catcher. So now we will not be seeing that cube, but the shadows will be visible. So here the shadows are not visible properly, right? So let's add a sun in the scene. So shift A, add light, add sun. So let's place sun here. Actual position doesn't matter. So let's rotate the sun here. So yeah. So now you can see we are getting the shadows visible onto the building. So I think here yeah, this is fine. We are getting the shadows. So let's increase the strength value like two so that the shadows are visible properly. Okay. So we got the shadows also. So now I will show you how we can render this scene out. So if I play this now, we will have this Spidey character onto the building sticking correctly. Nice. Fine. So now let's come to this output properties. So before that, let's come to this render settings. So the render samples, I will reduce this to 128 and noise threshold. You can reduce this to 0.1 in order to reduce the render time. So scroll down and come to this color management. And view transform, change this to standard. And if you want to add contrast, we can add contrast from here. So I will do this in post. So let's change this to none. Now come to this output properties. So the resolution is vertical. So I'll leave this to like that only. Enable render region, crop to render region. 
frame rate should match with the footage frame rate so 24 is footage frame rate and frame start and end 1 to 240 is fine so here we need to select a folder to save our output files so quickly i will select location so here i have selected a location and file format let it be png and make sure this rgba is selected or else we won't get the alpha channel which is transparent background and yeah that is fine now let's come to this render and click on this render animation so it starts to render only the cg elements we won't get the footage visible here later we need to use any editing software to do composting so here i will be using adobe after effects to do composting and i will do a bit of color correction to match the cg elements along with the footage and i will render this once again so in this way i have created this cga spider-man on building video in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye